Hey guys, so my husband had a pair of pants that he wanted to get rid of and I decided that I wanted to try making them into a pair of pants for me. His pant size is bigger than me, so they are going to have to be tailored quite a bit. So I thought that I would document it and show you guys how I did it. I kind of wanted to make them look like boyfriend pants, the kind of pants that are a little bit baggier. You roll them up at the cuff and then normally there's like a few like distressed holes in them and stuff. So let's get started. So here are the jeans on. They're a bit too big, so I took them in a little bit. There are a few options on where to take them in. You can take them in at the side seams, the back seam, or you can add two darts right above the back pockets. I opted for the back seam, which I kind of regret, and you'll see why in a sec. What I did is I put them on, and I pinched the excess fabric and measured how big that dart needed to be. Then I took the pants off, flipped them around, and I was free to use that measurement wherever I decided to take the jeans in. Another option is to put them on inside out and pinch and pin exactly where you want to take them in. Since originally I didn't plan to take in that much, I decided to take in the back seam. To make the waistband look a little bit cleaner, I seam ripped the portion of the band that would be affected by the dart. I didn't want to have to mess with the belt loop, so I decided to divide the measurement I got earlier in half and I took it in on each side of the belt loop. Really, looking back, I should have gone with darts right above each back pocket because I did end up taking it in a little bit more than I originally planned to and it brought the pockets in too much and it just looks kind of weird, but it's too late for these jeans now. I opened up the waistband like so, folded it together, right sides touching, and took it in with the same measurements as the darts on either side of the belt loop. I cut the extra fabric, folded the band back, sandwiching the main jean fabric, and then sewed the band back in place. So after I sewed these up, I decided to take in the legs a little bit. Boyfriend jeans are supposed to be somewhat baggy, but these were a bit too baggy. I also wanted to take the crotch in a little bit too, so I took it in from the inseam. I just pinched to see how much I wanted to take in, and then I pinned, sewed them up, and cut off the extra fabric. My husband is also a foot taller than me, so the jeans were way too long. I marked where I wanted to cut them with a pin, I took them off, lined both legs up, and trimmed the bottoms off. I didn't worry about finishing the bottoms because I plan on keeping them cuffed whenever I wear them. And now for the fun part, distressing the jeans. I used a combination of a few things. Scissors, tweezers, a razor, a file, and I would have used coarse sandpaper if I had some on hand. You could just use scissors to cut holes where you want, but I prefer to make it look as if the jeans naturally wore down instead of having a perfect hole. So I went at the jeans in spots where I figured there would be wear. A little bit at the pockets, and of course, at the knees. I just used the razor and file around the pocket area to sort of make smaller spots that were a bit frayed, but at the knees, I wanted to make some real holes. To avoid cutting through to the other side of the jeans, I used a piece of wood and also some of the denim that I cut off earlier. I just put them inside of the pant legs while I filed down and razored and cut them. I went in a little bit with the razor to sort of get some holes started, but then I decided to go ahead with the scissors and start cutting the hole. Then I went in with tweezers to pull some of the thread running from one of the razor holes down to the one that I cut with scissors to make the hole bigger. 
I was pretty timid with this at first. I was scared to distress them too much, but after putting them on and seeing how tiny the holes looked while on, I ended up doing way more. Instead of using just the razor, I went in and used my scissors and kind of tore longer slits and then pulled the threads between those to make bigger holes like this one. When you're done, toss them in the washer and dryer. This helps make all the work that you just did a little more natural. And then you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you're interested in becoming a patron, then I'll leave the link to mine right here and you can go check it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next week.